Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you guys have been asking is there any roadmap for analog VLSI profile and let me tell you I have got the best roadmap for you. So you will be studying from the best teacher of analog electronics and also you will get enough practice questions and all of this will be available completely for free on YouTube. So what is my demand? My demand is only reach for this video. Share it with your friends who are st uh, studying for uh, like an analog profile and you try to share and repost my post on LinkedIn. I will put the link in the comments. You try to share and repost. If this video gets enough likes and enough views in the next uh, 48 to 72 hours, I will bring RL marathon of step and impulse response completely on YouTube in the next week if this video gets enough likes okay so all of it depends on you so you can like and repost my linkedin post on the comments below now let's understand how should you prepare for analog vlsf profile completely for free in just three to four months so this will be complete roadmap for analog vlsf profile and completely it will be on youtube okay it will be completely free and it will take you around three to four months it depends by student to student who have studied a bit previously he, he, he or she will take lesser amount of time and who is starting from scratch it will take him more time as currently the semesters are over and you have just like you have just started your summer break so if, if you are in third year or final year or if you are in mtech first year or second year you should definitely follow this roadmap okay it will take you around two to three months if you diligently give your total time you will be able to completely cover all the topics so what are the topics the topics network analysis analog electronics control systems and then obviously you have your project and obviously you have to study a bit of aptitude for clearing the written test so uh, like which are the high priority ones so if you are starting from scratch obviously your network analysis and analog electronics are the high priority one control systems is the lower priority okay that you will do after finishing these two topics and what you have to study in these two topics right i will tell everything just wait for it and project i will try to bring a separate video if this video gets enough likes and views and if you want more about project so i will bring a video about project for now i'm uh, like skipping the project part and obviously for aptitude also as you have to clear the written test you have to study the aptitude so you give aptitude the last 10 15 days i will tell you the resources so first is network analysis from where should you follow you can follow this playlist network analysis by himanshu agarwal in our channel that is prefusion okay completely if you follow that playlist completely all your concepts will be clear and you have to follow only the dc part okay only the dc part and it will take you around uh, like one month okay around one month okay if you are following this playlist every day and you are uh, as holiday is going on right now so you will be able to give this enough time so it will take you around one month you just complete this play playlist you don't have to watch the ac part just watch the dc part whichever is present in uh, youtube okay so here he has talked about transient and bc concept all those things this will be helpful in gate as well as in written test as well as in your interview so you are doing three things at once next uh, after finishing network theory right you start with analog electronics and it is the most important one obviously analog electronics is the most important one for analog vlsi profile and who uh, like who is the teacher himanshu right so he's the you know all of you know like his analog electronics is the best so obviously if you're getting the opportunity to study from him don't miss this okay so here videos are getting uploaded and with more videos will get uploaded you follow this playlist completely okay this will be helpful similarly for your gate your placements and for your written test okay so this may take you more time so for this i'm giving you two months okay so i'm not men mentioning the topics i'm not mentioning the topics you know the topics like you can watch my go through my previous video where i have mentioned the topics right uh, for network theory analog electronics so obviously the most important ones are for network analysis transient analysis of rc and currently rl is also uh, very important then thevenin's theorem all those theorems right like important but more uh, like you should obviously study everything then only you will be able to understand the concepts okay for written tests also you have to study everything for analog obviously mosfets are important right then uh, opamps are important like uh, feedback negative feedback positive feedback then cmos and mos for those how you need to study that also i'll mention in this roadmap so this will take you two months this will take you one month and after that right when you are doing the analog electronics side by side if you want to do extra so this has two two star priority because 
they may ask question from gain margin phase margin board reports so if you want to completely prepare okay you don't want to take any risks you want to completely prepare for interviews so you have to study these also so what you will study from this control system playlist this is on the prefusion channel as well all the links will be in the comments below so you start from the polar plot part okay you start from polar plot okay polar plot to end why do you have to study polar plot because they sometimes in interviews they sometimes ask about gain margin phase margin in questions also sometimes you need a bit of concept of control systems so for those things you start from polar plot and you go towards end controllers and compensators why am i talking about controllers and compensators there you will understand intuitively more about the phase margin gain margin how to design a controller right so if you have the basic knowledge of design that also helps you to intuitively solve problems in other areas as well so this will not take you much time this may take you two weeks okay this may take you two weeks so uh, this is two months and within this two months you are also investing time for control systems so up until now you have used three months okay so three months has happened next what should you do before the written test okay 10 days 15 days before the written test you just follow this playlist from himanshu agarwal where he has solved all the gate p by quiz if you want a bit extra for aptitude you can obviously solve easy cat questions right easy cat questions easy cat questions whichever uh, uh, come in cat entrance exam you can solve the easy questions one okay so this also will take you around like one week only right aptitude engineers are generally good at aptitude so this will take you hardly one week so we have covered uh, three months and one week now how should you study at least you have to prioritize yourself right at least you have to give two hours every day okay of watching lectures and after watching lectures you have to practice the assignment questions so like in the lectures itself there are questions he has given assignment or he has given some homework questions you have to solve those then you have to also practice gate PIQs from these topics from the specific topics you have to solve the gate PIQs as well this will be helpful for what for your written test and obviously at a later stage if you like if you want to give gate as well this will be helpful for that preparation as well okay now you have to practice from the following resources for interviews okay for interviews I am mentioning few resources that you have to follow. Okay, so like all this you are getting. Okay, for free, completely for free. So there is obviously some demand from my end also. What is my demand? First of all, like this video. Okay, and try to share this with as many people as possible. Or if you can't share, at least like the video and uh, you go to the link uh, of my LinkedIn post. There will be link present in the comments, and you try to repost that. Okay, like and repost that. So I want this thing to help maximum students right this should uh, reach out to maximum students so they can also get benefit from this free initiative right so they should also get benefit from this so uh, i want this to reach everywhere so obviously my demand is you have to like repost the linkedin post and also if you can share it and obviously i want you to study diligently also so you have to be true to yourself you have to study right everything is there you just have to study so that also i can't do it for yourself right i have provided everything all the roadmaps all the videos but you have to study also so i want you to study all as well this will be helpful for your gate and placements as well okay so this is my demand so let's come to resources so if i get enough uh, uh like for, on the videos and uh, likes on my linkedin post and then definitely in the next week i will bring a rl marathon okay rl marathon of step and impulse response there is already rc circuits there is already step and impulse response of rc circuits you guys loved it and there is also pulse response of rc and rl circuits but step and impulse response of rl circuits is not present and currently they are giving some importance to rl as well so it is important so it depends on you if you want that or not if you want that you have to like the video share the video and also like the post and share repost the post okay these things we have to do so yeah this is my demand and you can follow these two after studying all this right after studying the network theory after studying the network theory you can follow this playlist right you can study from this playlist here i have completely covered the step and impulse response of rc circuits and also the pulse response of rc and rl these two are very very important topics for interview purpose so you have to study uh, practice from this after you finish the network theory playlist now next practice resource if you finish the analog uh, electronics play analog electronics playlist the conceptual part then you come to this playlist right here i have solved many questions which are generally uh, asked in uh, vlsa written test okay and sometimes they are asking interviews as well okay so uh, you have to follow this playlist for mainly written test purpose so this pl name, playlist name is circuit queries this is present in my channel itself so you have to follow this for vlsa screening test right screening test 
now next this is like my, my oldest playlist here it is analog electronics decoded where i have mainly tried to solve uh, questions which are asked in interviews like cmos buffer so if you have been asked cmos inverter then they may interchange the pmos and nmos right then what will happen to the circuit what will be the pulse response of the circuit all these things i have tried to intuitively explain in this uh, playlist so you follow this one by one you try to follow this one okay for written test this one for interviews and obviously this one is most important you have to follow this anyways for written test interviews all this right this one is also for mainly interviews so uh, these are the resources that i am telling you okay i have told you aptitude i have told you completely network theory analog electronics you are st uh, studying from the best teacher right trust me he is the best teacher of analog electronics no one is even closer to him so uh, this is from my end all the best from my end i have given you everything so all i want is your support and bit of reach so that it can help the most people okay and i also get some motivation right if you guys don't like the video then i won't get the motivation to make the videos and like make make those marathons right if i see that yeah people are liking the videos then obviously i will also get motivated to make the video of rl okay so it all depends upon you so all the best from my end and uh, yeah i will see you in the next video